Now, the fact that your inherited data will be easier to get but harder to trust, and it's quite hard to trust it, especially if you've uh, been around that block a few times, does that mean that you should give up? No. You may proceed, and you should proceed, but with appropriate caution and humility. We have to recognize that sometimes getting our own primary data is not an option. We might not have the time or the resources, and we should let ourselves take advantage of the wonderful abundance of data, but we should not let it take advantage of us. And we shouldn't assume that it's safe and it's good and it's what we need, and then have disasters happen because we went in overconfidently. Instead, be sure to be honest with yourself and others about how little you know about these data. So what you're going to do in practice is you will spend a lot of time that's boring, yes, boring, on the following. State the assumptions you're being forced to make that you haven't been able to verify. Write up caveat notes to be included in the appendix of your report. Write cautionary notes that warn the decision maker and your other readers that conclusions from the study might need to be downgraded due to potential data issues. It's okay to write all those things, it's okay to be honest about them. What we're doing is trying to do better. Not perfect, but better. And the level of apology that you owe your readers and decision makers depends on your experience and expertise with similar data. So here's what I recommend everyone always adds to their project document if they're working with inherited data. <clears throat> Since our team did not participate in planning the study or data collection, it is possible that we are missing crucial context, which renders our conclusions invalid. Nice little sentence to put there to keep everyone safe, including yourself. Inherited data are easier to get, but you shouldn't trust them the way that you would trust data that you made, that you designed. This isn't about perfectionism. It's perfectly reasonable to try to slightly increase your imperfect understanding with data. Just don't forget to acknowledge to yourself and others how little you know. Otherwise, you are leading yourself and anyone who trusts you straight off a cliff. So that is what the intellectual humility is for. Humility may be a bit of a strain on a Twitter read attention span, but I promise you it is a very good trait for a data scientist to nurture.